गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर हेल्दी एंड सेफ एट योर प्लेस इन टूडेज क्लास विल स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर सिक्सटीन फ्रॉम योर सोशल साइंस बुक एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज आर रिच हेरिटेज दिस चैप्टर इज अबाउट द हेरिटेज ऑफ आर कंट्री दैट इज द हेरिटेज ऑफ इंडिया सो लेट्स बिगिन विद दिस चैप्टर सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ हेरिटेज हेरिटेज कैन बी डिफाइंड एज समथिंग दैट इज यूनिक टू अ पर्टिकुलर एरिया रीजन और अ कंट्री सो इन सिंपल लैंग्वेज वी कैन से हेरिटेज इज समथिंग दैट इज यूनिक अबाउट अ प्लेस इट कैन बी द कल्चर ऑफ दैट प्लेस इट कैन बी द फिजिकल फीचर्स ऑफ दैट प्लेस इट कैन बी द डांस फॉर्म आर्ट फॉर्म एनीथिंग so if anything is unique in some place that is the heritage of that place heritage can be classified into two categories first is natural heritage and the second is cultural heritage now let's understand the difference between the two types first we'll study natural heritage natural heritage is the heritage given to us by nature it has been given by nature we have not created this type of heritage it includes mountains rivers land and the physical features of a particular place or a country you can in simple language you can say it is gifted by god natural heritage is what we have received from nature on the other hand if we talk about cultural heritage cultural heritage is something that is man made it is created over the years by humans or we can say it has been created by us that means humans the cultural heritage includes monuments art and craft music dance architecture inscriptions and many more in this chapter we will study some of the further type of cultural heritage so the first is architecture architecture of our country includes many palaces forts and monuments for example sun temple in konark red fort taj mahal all these are examples of rich architectural heritage of our country the other is paintings now paintings are further divided into two types that is murals and miniature paintings now murals are the paintings done on wall on large scale and miniature paintings are the paintings done on paper or cloth in small scale for example you can take the paintings done on the walls of ajanta and alora caves now next comes the category of dance now india has a varied variety of dance forms here we have further two categories that is classical dance form and folk dance form classical dance form is a dance form which has some specific rules specific postures that have been followed over the years and this includes bharatnatyam kathak kathakali and many more on the other hand we have folk dances folk dances are the dances which are performed on special occasions like on wedding like on harvest festivals for example you can take bihu bihu is a folk dance bihu is the folk dance of assam and ghumar is the folk dance of rajasthan so the next category is music now there are further two types that is hindustani music and carnatic music hindustani music is the music that has been dwelt in the northern part of the india and carnatic music has been dwelt in the southern part of the india so students india has varied heritage it includes paintings architectures dance music and many more things in this chapter we will study about all these things in detail for now read this chapter see you all in online class